Hello Ljubljana, I am calling from Newark, Delaware. My name is Alana and I am an anthropology student at the University of Delaware. And I think that hosting this event was a great way to demonstrate and make others aware of the importance of applied anthropology. At the event that I hosted, we focused on the outsourcing of labor in the Global South and how it isolates countries that are a part of it, both from the international sphere and anthropology. We also discussed changes that can be made related to anthropological research on this topic that would center the Global South. All those who participated in the event were students at the University of Delaware, but only one or two were also studying anthropology. So it was interesting to get a mix of the different perspectives due to having students with a variety of backgrounds. And these ranged from environmental science to cognitive science, for example. The first half of our event consisted of activities that required both collaboration and creativity, like, for example, coming up with ideas for research and thinking of ways to carry it out while also centering the groups that would be studied. This led to some innovative ideas about what we should and should not be doing when completing anthropological research. And then from there we moved into a productive conversation about a range of topics, such as psycho the psychology and philosophy behind othering, and the unique ways that applied anthropologists can build awareness of social issues. One interesting point that was made during the discussion was that anthropological research on underpaid workers in other countries may not be entirely centered on these groups, unless it includes collaboration of some sort. And of course there is always collaboration in this research, but we couldn't come to a definite conclusion about how much collaboration is needed. For example, one student believed that it is crucial to collaborate with anthropologists from communities being studied, and that in order to do this we have to ensure that anthropology is accessible to them. Another point that was brought up was that we tend to center our research and requirements for research on Western or American values. We then briefly talked about ethics and archaeology, specifically in relation to how soon after an event material remains can be studied. More specifically, we questioned to what extent we should use local religious rituals and memorialization practices, or a lack of them, to determine how long we should wait. Lastly, one topic that especially stood out to me was the use of artistic methods, such as documentaries, by anthropologists to increase awareness of social issues. For the most part, everyone at the event came to the same conclusions when discussing, discussing each of these topics. A key suggestion that was made is that anthropologists should collaborate more with anthropologists from the groups they are studying, if possible, especially when there are social issues that limit the knowledge that can be gained through participant observation. This is very relevant to research on underpaid workers in other countries for two reasons. The first being that they may be afraid to give up information about working conditions if they know that doing so could get them in trouble. The second is that no matter how much you immerse yourself in a community and in the everyday life of a group, there are certain experiences that cannot be conveyed to an anthropologist during the relatively short duration of their participant observation. Spending even multiple years in a community cannot create the same lived experience as someone who has dealt with poverty or exhaustion for their entire life. Another more specific but still very important conclusion we came to when discussing research on workers who are exploited is that anthropologists should also make recommendations and criticisms of workplaces based on the needs of the community, not what is believed in our culture to be crucial. We should ask interview participants questions about what their ideal work environment would look like rather than determining on our own what is best for them. So now I want to answer some, um, one of the questions that were provided. What surprised you the most about the discussion? Something that surprised me the most about this event was that we were able to discuss up to three fields of anthropology. Um, and while a topic of focus would initially be considered to only be relevant to culture anthropology, we were also able to bring biological anthropology and even archaeology into the conversation. This allowed for us to be, um, bring in some unique viewpoints and led to the discussion of subtopics that when always necessarily be um, obviously connected to the outsourcing of labor. All right, well, I hope that our insights from the discussions we had inspire further conversation, and I enjoyed hosting this event, and I'm thankful for the opportunity.